hi guys okay i confess we're no longer in march <laughs> uh, today is the first of april and it is 7 12 pm um yeah and i am still finishing off this journal my god it drove me crazy last night some of these pages have actually now ended up slightly shorter than they should be because I did the hauls last night. Then I put some of it together and for some reason, instead of them being in line here where they should be, some of them were up here and some of them were like right down here, like overhanging the journal. So it's like here at the top and then some of them were overhanging at the bottom. How I managed it, I do not know. But yes, so I have also brought out the big guy. This is the Crocodile 2. Um, in Oh no, I was going to say in the last video you saw me using the other one. You did, but I didn't post the last video that I did last night because everything went wrong on camera. Literally everything went wrong on camera. So yeah, I just scrapped the video completely because trust me, it wasn't worth watching. Um, yeah, I decided it was a good idea, which it is actually, but not for this size of a journal. I decided it was a good idea to, um, eyelet, put the eyelets, the eyelets are in the main pages and the thicker pocket pages. Um, but I also decided it'd be a good idea to put eyelets in every single one of the holes in the normal pages in between. Um, which I did do in a previous journal before, but it wasn't this big. Um, and yes, it took absolutely ages. My wrist was hurting and that's also where some of the problems started. They weren't crimping properly, um, mainly because my hands were tired. And yeah, but you know, some of the pages ripped and it was just a complete and utter logistical nightmare. So like I said, I did away with those videos. Um, I had to admit defeat last night because I really needed rest and I needed to take my meds. I have injured my right foot underneath. Um, still no idea yet as to how it's happened or why, you know, what it is or how it's happened. Um, but yeah, I'm on quite strong painkillers at the moment and yesterday, because I was up and down a lot and when I sit at my PC chair that I'm on now it's like a bar stool chair it is raised up because this desk is too high for a normal one and around about a quarter of the way up off the floor there is a round bar on it at, at the bottom at, yeah at the bottom not right on the floor there is a round circular bar on it as a footrest and of course because I am sitting and my feet are like that the where I've hurt myself is like here on my um, underside of my foot so we're sitting like that I got cramp in my foot and it hurt a lot um, yes despite the strong painkillers I was on it was actually causing more issues so I had to stop and go to bed which I was rather frustrated about because I really wanted to get this finished yesterday but I had to admit defeat and yeah take care of myself first so I'm here to finish off and I am just <laughs> lining up and punching holes. Like I said, I've um, brought out the big guy because the other one, well, it were, I was going to say just weren't cutting it. It was. Um, but this one is a lot easier, but it's a bit more difficult to film. So I also have to knock my chair right down to the bottom to be able to see this because... I am crimping there and I've got to get this in there and then line this up with that pink circle to be able to cut it, <laughs> not perfectly but almost perfect. So it's not something I can film but I just wanted to come and give you guys a heads up. I will film it, but you're not going to be able to see it. I'll just film a little segment of it and speed it up for you guys because you would be absolutely bored stiff watching me do this. Now, I've got the holes already where I want them in the front and the back cover. This is the back. Um, the front cover is here, but I haven't put the eyelets in these yet because I was using these, you know, to mark the holes. 
um, and at the moment I'm only sticking them through the one ring the one ring it sounds Lord of the Ringsy that doesn't it um, I am only sticking them through the one ring to bind them all um, <laughs> as I go just so I don't lose where I'm at and what have you and then I'm stopping regular to check to make sure I am punching them the right way round um, because yesterday I had visions of me punching them upside down and yeah the wrong way round and all sorts that still could happen I might lose half a dozen pages out of this journal by the time I've finished um, but we will see but anyway as I said at the moment there's one ring to bind them um, yeah so I will as I said just cut no I'm not going to cut you off but I'm going to stop this now and speed this bit up add some music enjoy Well, that didn't last long, did it? Um, I'm back already. <laughs> um, I've just realised we're at this stage here. Well, we're on to this page here. This needs to be reinforced because of where the hole's going to go. Um, so I will just move that one out of the way a minute. And I'm just going to grab this tub down here. This tub down because this has got the washi tapes in. And I'm going to use washi tape to... Okay, okay, apparently I've done 5,000 steps. Yeah, it's been a busy day today. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get the washi tape down. And I said about putting lace down here, but due to the nature of this journal, I don't think lace will look right. So, this is like a vintage -y style. I'm thinking maybe either the text or that although I could use this I could use that and then ink over it and unfortunately it's gonna I'm gonna say it's actually it's gonna go over the, the stitching but I only really need to do that section there really. I really really need to do one section. I think although that is I don't know, I'm a bit torn now. See because this one is also like grid, but that's the wrong colour, I'm gonna say. That looks a bit more in keeping but it's actually the wrong colour. Whereas this is white and I can ink it and I know that ink it takes ink really well does that. So, problem solved. Pop that all there out of the way. I know this takes ink well because I've inked it before. And I can just do a little strip. Just enough to cover that bit there. And... Grungy scissors, where are you? There they are. And follow the line. Cut it straight. What do we think? About there. Which is good and I can see I can see through that so one, two, three, four, five, six there. One, two, three, four, five, six there, which is there where my nail is, so I'm going to just cut that I know I'm being really precise now but why not and then I'm kind of going to stick that to itself or not I'll just stick it to my desk and do it instead <laughs> so we want to roughly Bind that up. Hmm. 
although it doesn't really matter because that's going to go on the back but no I'm being really picky <laughs> and two down it's like doing a crossword puzzle there we go okay pop that back up there and get the glue I think we'll use ooh for this something a bit stronger Whether this works or not, I don't know. It's, um, yeah, I won't ink. Uh, ink. I'm not even inking. So I won't ink. No, I won't. I won't glue the page because it's got stitching on it. So it will literally eat the glue stick. But I will glue the washi tape because washi tape is designed to be removable. And I don't want it to be. So... I just spent all that time counting those squares and now I'm not bothering where I put it back on. <laughs> Typical. Oh, I do want to line it up. That looks pretty cool actually. I do want to kind of line it up. So let's pop that down there. And then there we go. There ish along there, like so. Pretty perfect alignment there, if I do say so myself. So, burnish that down, and then push the piece of paper back in for a minute. I had to take it off because, as I was using the crocodile, it was scooting all over the place. And again, I'm wondering if that's what happened last night with some of them being really off. I'm wondering because I was using this. I'm wondering if it moved while I was um, punching holes, sort of thing. So let's pop it up there. I'm gonna get the frayed burlap out again and with my ink dobber that's falling apart I'm just gonna ink over this blend it in a little bit although it looks pretty cool okay so um by the time you guys are watching this video, all of the videos from yesterday, well, all three, um, I say all three, there are three videos up, but I, I filmed about 12 videos just to get those three um, yesterday. They are already up on the channel. Well, uh, well, as you're watching this, all of them will be up. They will be up on this one. At the current time of me filming now, which is now 7.26pm, um, they have been edited, exported and uploaded to YouTube. They are currently on my channel but they are not public at the time of me filming this right now. Um, like I said, by the time you're watching this they will all be available to watch. Um, when I've done this I'm going to obviously head to the computer and get this one edited, exported and uploaded and then as soon as this one's uploaded to YouTube and is, you know, ready, processed and everything and ready, I will make all four videos public. Actually five because I'll do this and then the next video will be the flip, the final flip through. Um, so yeah, <laughs> but the other three are currently sat there just waiting, un unpublished. I'm going to release them all at the same time. Leave like 10, 15 minutes between. But I am actually going to release them all at the same time. Um, 
yeah so you're not gonna have to like you're not gonna have to watch one and then wait a day to watch another one that sort of thing i'm gonna release them all together um and then it's done now this is part of the issue yesterday i was using the front cover so that's fine um but this part of this issue is i'm wanting to turn it that way and do it because i've got to go through the holes at this side but if i did that it would be the wrong way around so i'm having to remember to turn it that way um i think that's part of the problem i was having yesterday as well i was because it was the front cover there i was lining them up here and then doing the holes there which <laughs> didn't work it should have been that way and punching the holes but yeah um, okay, so that is the inside back cover, so that's going to be facing that way with the hole there. And of course that needs punching because that's where I've just reinforced anyway. And all I'm doing is just trying to line up between the little grooves here in the book corners. And there we go. And then... Just lining it up and I'm using a bright pink pen because sometimes the pencil line doesn't show through. Whoa! Okay. And now I've just drawn on the cover. <laughs> God. Honestly. Never mind, but seriously. It is just one of them days. Actually, it's been one of them blooming weeks. Okay, so I'll punch this. We will put eyelets in and then I will go back to speeding this up. Okay, so... Oh, that didn't want to go through. That's because the stitch in there as well as the washi tape. And then... This one... tricky to line up sometimes because it's getting caught in the stitching okay so that's that now I want some eyelets I need to flip that across to the eyelet setter get the eyelets and remember to put them in the right way so front and back not the other way around <laughs> which I also did yesterday with one of them and in it goes I like this one but I don't like it for setting eyelets for some reason it doesn't seem to do it as good as the handheld one maybe more pressure maybe I can put more pressure on the hand one the handheld one oh sorry about that my phone is currently linked up to my YouTube uh, my phone is currently linked up to my Bluetooth speaker not YouTube speaker my Bluetooth speaker because while I was speeding you guys up I was listening to my own music um, but yeah, I've obviously just had a notification on my phone. Right, now I'm just going to come over here to one side. This will make noise, but just over here off to the side, I have my jewellery um, making stuff. This is my stainless steel stamping block. This is my stamping hammer. Um, yeah, from hand stamp metal hand stamping. Um, I'm going to pop you on pause because as soon as I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to this side up, I'm going to put that on there and I'm going to give it a whack, which will flatten that. But as I do that, because you're attached to the desk, this will wobble like crazy and it'll sound horrendous in your ears. So I'm going to pop you on pause. Okay, that's done. Now it is completely flat. Awesome. So yeah, that's that out of the way. And then, yeah, I love that actually. And then we'll pop that on the ring as well. And then we carry on. So I will pop you on pause, not pause, but I will turn off now and then speed this up again. OK, 
Okay, guys. So, I am done. Um, apart from the front and back cover, which I will do now, actually. Let's just fasten that up because I don't want any of them falling out. So, I'll pop that across to the eyelet setter and we'll just set the eyelets in the front and back cover. This is the back. We'll do that now. Um, and then we'll pretty much be done with this guy. Okay, so that's that one. And that one. I really did make this journal hard work for myself. <laughs> All because I had a change of my change of heart with the journal cover. I made one and then really didn't like it. So <laughs> yeah, happy days there. Right, I'm not going to bash them flat yet until I've done the front cover, and then I'll just pop you on pause for that. I did do some of it in the last um, part of the video where I fast forwarded, but you were on fast forward. So apart from a bit of a wobble where I did it you know you didn't have to listen to it or anything so lucky you okay. uh -oh. this one. and you know what my next journal is going to be one similar to this as well ring oh no there's two eyelets there i don't want to um actually it's not going to be a ring journal it is going to be a comb binding journal which is what i was going to do for this one but i know the next one's going to be a comb binder one because it's not going to be as big as this um yeah so let's pop him over there let's flatten these i'll put you on pause done okay so front cover goes here back cover goes here and there we go okay let's pop that closed and now I will add the other rings as well but there are a couple of pages that we need to move um, the ones that are poking out of the bottom of the journal should be further up, but I couldn't put them further up because the ring wasn't in them. So, I'm going to... Easier to start from the back, actually. Well, actually, I don't even think it matters, but it doesn't start from the front. Oh, God. It doesn't even matter. It's awkward either way. Um, we will start from the back though, so... Ugh. I hate doing these. So that one's in the right place, so that can just go through that one. Um, that needs to go through both. Okay, so right, them two pockets, that pocket pages are good, so they can go through both. And this is where, yesterday when I was doing this, I found out that I punched the holes wrong in quite a few of them. I hope I don't, I hope I haven't done that again this time. And as you can see in the, well, as you could probably tell in the other video, some of them I had put the eyelets in and some of the pages I had 
um, already punched again but I hope I don't make that mistake this time otherwise these pages are going to end up some of these other pages are going to end up super duper short okay through there it really is fiddly doing this this is why I don't like doing these journals but they are really handy journals right this one is the bottom one okay or is it no this one is a top one i think i think this is the no that's the bottom one i think this is a top one it is right oh, that way all right because i want them to be like even though the two separate pages, I want them to be like one page. Okay. Oh, I forgot that we're undone. So let's pop that there. Yes, I am in focus. Ow! Oh, not focus in frame. I'm going to say, am I even in frame for this? Because I haven't got my piece of paper. But it keeps moving anyway. I am. But I will just move the camera a little bit. Then I don't have to keep moving the journal. Okay. That one there. This one. Through. Alright, these pages. in as well yep see. I didn't think that one that one's not lining up well if you can see there's a big gap there so there's a chance that it's upside down yep it is okay no it's not it's doing it that way that way upside down mm. It was upside down, just the wrong way. Okay, so this one I had, if I showed in the video, I had to cut the holes off that side and put them at this side, otherwise, this would have been upside down. The numbers again would have been upside down. The amount of times I've done that with this kit <laughs> is unreal. With them clocks, I've put numbers upside down on them quite a few times. This one goes there or did I want that at the top I can't remember no it's not a top one pokes out too far at the top so it must be a bottom one okay This makes me very nervous putting this together. All right, that's another one that looks a bit high up, but that could just be me. Yep, I've done it upside down. think let me line it up and see yep that should be the other way so the holes should actually have been on this side oh honestly you know feel free to skip ahead <laughs> that's fine what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take it off and do it this way because it's, it'll make it a lot easier. Is that another one that's upside down? Let me just clip these shut and have a look because I suspect some of these could now be upside down. Yep. 
but it's a little hard to tell this one yep this one's upside down see how far it's poking out at the top the others are okay so not to worry it just means instead of having the kit page oh it's gonna be upside it's upside down yeah dang it i'm gonna say that's okay but instead of having the kit page that way you've got the text the back of the other page but if we do that it's now going to be upside down oh do you know what i'm gonna go with it i can put something on there maybe Whoopsie. Remind me never to do these again. In fact, that's wrong as well. No, it's not. No, it's not. That's okay. I mean, it's wrong because that's now upside down. But I will rect... I'm putting it in because later on I will rectify it. I will cut that off and re... You know, redo it. But I'm leaving it in there to remind me. I'm not doing it now. That's okay. No, oh, it's not. It should be that way. Yep, that should be that way. See, these one, these ones, I already punched together yesterday. These were in the batch of the ones that I'd already punched together. That's fine, is that, I think. Right, so last time, I think that goes at the top. Yes, that one is the, the top this time. This one goes at the bottom this time. Yep, happy with that. That one goes in all of them. And then I think we should be back to normal. That one and that one. Yep. This one. Oh, I really hope this one's right. The pocket page. I love that one. Yes. I think we're pretty back on track now. Yep. Yeah, it's looking like we're back on track now, so that's good. Okay. Yeah, that's the right way up. And pocket page. Love this one as well. Window pocket page. Okay. We're nearly done, guys. Oh dear me. That one was the right way. But you can't really tell. But I printed the music paper on the back upside down. But you can't really tell. Oh, another text page. Let's see. Yes, got it right. Nice one. Bottom page. Oh, right. Yeah, now I know why. Bottom page put these at the bottom because the top loading pockets so if I'd have put them at the top you know you wouldn't have been able to get much in it or it would have poked out really badly there we go and then we're on the back page back cover even sorry not page and lock it in and it's done! Yay! Apart from the little boo-boo with the text paper, which I will sort out at another time. There we are, guys. The journal is done. Woohoo! Okay. Yay! <laughs> um, granted, I haven't done ephemera or anything for it, but I'm not bothered at this stage. Um, this is just for me, is this one. Um, yeah cool i love it so 
there we go yes I'm loving 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 it so yeah there's you put it at the bottom put stuff in the top awesome sauce nice big window I love that you see the smaller pages there where I went wrong and had to do them again oh my gosh and I've just oh no it's not I've just realized that's upside down but it's not <laughs> 5 10 15 20 yeah it's not Phew. Heart attack. Um, yep yeah, and I'm not minding that one bit that is cool little window in the back bottom top middle yay and then in this one here the page that I did remove yesterday that now I wish I hadn't I removed this page because I was one page too many when I was counting up um, now I wish I hadn't have removed it because it would have gone in although I could make it a shorter page no um, I actually cut down to size and it is a perfect fit for this big pocket here so no I'm going to leave it in there and then yeah side page upside down one I will rectify that yeah top bottom middle fabulous I love this one I really love that one okay guys so we are done and I will now pop off camera organize the desk and then come back and do a flip through yeah hey 16 and a half nearly 17 minutes plus whatever before okay so woohoo all right guys i will see you again very soon for the final flip through <laughs>